Ladies and gentlemen, guys and girls, welcome back to the ACL Call of Duty Ghost League. I'm in Maniac, joined by Mike Star. We're going to be jumping into our second series of the night, Curse versus Fright. This is going to be a good one. It definitely will be, but I mean, if you if you look at the overall you know s sort of stats side of things, I think Curse are just going to be edging to take a, a quick victory. They're already been saying it on Twitter as well, and of course they couldn't attend ACL Sydney, so they just they just extra motivated to sort of come out strong here in this first round of this league. Well, look, as one of the best teams in Australia, of course, they did place a fifth over in the Call of Duty Championships in the US. You know, they want to make a point. As you did say, they couldn't make ACL Sydney, which is kind of unfortunate. So they want to make a point here by taking out the last Call of Duty Ghost competition in here run by ACL. It's kind of a prestigious title. We also got to keep in mind, Freight might give them something to work for here. Of course, consisting of Bundo Blue, Quincy and Hoju. It's going to be an interesting match. Of course, all those players having relative experience of their own. Of course, you can't really compare it to, to Call of Duty Championships overseas, but those players have had quite a bit of experience. Just recently being formed of this lineup themselves, some of the players that have been teaming for quite a while. Yeah, well, you definitely can't rule them out. We're going to be jumping straight into our first game of this best, in fi best of five domination on Strike Zone. And we're seeing Dan's getting the nice shots out on Hoju in the background. Team captain Issei taking down Blue as well. So players of Obviously, going down left, right, and center. Dan's getting some nice shots out here. Gets a nice two-piece on Quince and Hoju to take him down. Now securing this B flag. I don't think anyone's going to be able to stop him either. There is a player coming around the corner. As I said, that shot's out, and he was taken out. That's going to be chilling and get the nice kill before. Uh, sorry, yeah, get chilling and get the nice kill on Bundo. Damage getting the kill on Blue. And Issei taking down Hoju. That was three down there for a second for Fry. Damage almost getting the kill, but that's Bo uh, sorry Quince who was able to take him down. Bundo in the background getting the nice two-piece still with Chilean for Team Curse, and this is neck and neck in the early days of this game. Chilean looks like he wants to push right now out of this B side at this stage. He will be able to take down one kill, and of course, his teammates managed to pick up a couple more, and, and B is just going to be completely open, forcing the team of Fright to actually spawn over on that C side. You're going to be seeing them trying to push on over through Pro as well, jumping on board with Quincy. Not too sure if he spotted that one coming out of the B stairs, but it doesn't matter because he's going to take down one at A, blindsiding him and pushing over to this A flag. Yeah, and he's in a nice position here. Not doing too many people around, but as I said that, there was Hoju. Uh, sorry, Issei able to jump down. So we're now on with Bundo from Fright pushing into this B flag. There was a player. I'm not sure if he spotted him. He does now. Gets him blindsided. That's going to be taken down. Issei, nice shots out by uh, Bundo. He's now securing this B spot. However, he was taking out shots in the back by Chilean. Dan's is also getting the kill in the background. Shots out. Quinn's being embarrassed by Chilean. Dan's getting the kills as well. Bundo getting the, uh, I suppose, the dignity back for his team there. Fright getting a nice couple of kills there. 29 to 23 in the first couple of minutes of this match. Hotly contested so far. A and B in the control of Curse. Two players from Fright down. Chilean in the uh, B area at the moment with no ammo. Not sure what he's aiming for. He does pick up some, uh, some ammo though. So hopefully... Uh, no, still not. Sorry. Yeah, I'm, I don't know what I'm seeing. A, a little bit of a glitch there yeah. for his ammo count. But yeah, he, he did have ammo in the gun, and that's why he was pre-aiming the corners. But unfortunately, he just wasn't able to pick up a kill at the end. Of oh, Ghost, you always troll me. 41 to 29. So we're seeing the guys from Curse walking away with it now. They're trying to make this lead even bigger as they still are in control of A and B. But as you can see on the minimap, look at all the fright rotating around to A. But this isn't going to matter as we see Dance trying to get this C. And without it being contested, he's going to safely get that as we see most of Fright over on the A fly. They do get that but with C being taken out by Dan's as I just said, it's not really going to ma matter. B is wholly contested. We're with damage at the moment from Team Curse. Shots out. Does take down Quinns. He's going to be seeing the other player around the corner. He's going to take him down. Nice two-piece there from damage. He's going to be going in now to secure this B flag. There is a player who's going to be coming through the back. Is he spotting him? Yes, he does but no, not quick enough. Blue able to get the kill on damage. Going to be looking over into toilets as well and he picks off that kill taking down Chilean. And just shutting, putting his face straight down the toilet. Basically, that is what happens. So, so nice two-piece there by Blues. Running out to the middle of the map. Gets shots out across the map. And he does take down damage. Tries to spot another player coming through. But there's none there. There is one. Some back this way. Is he going to spot them? Yes, he does. There's a player right in front of him. He's going to get the shots out. No. Ring around the Rosie. But he does take him down in the end. That was damage getting dropped. So Chilean and Issei were down in the background. 59 to 47. Fright coming back a little bit here. Going to be seeing Blue possibly trying to push on down. No, he doesn't actually want to because you see they're losing B, but they're gaining C. And as long as they're able to keep that C control, they can box them into this B. Like that being said, they already know they've contested. And Blue pushes on. He needs to reload. And unfortunately, he doesn't get taken down. 
It is going to be a little bit of a tricky quest here for Team of Front. They had that majority sort of lead. They, you know, they they had that C, C flag getting neutralized. That B flag was getting lost, but they could have boxed them in there. And unfortunately, they just couldn't capitalize on that one. And that being said, it is that B flag neutralized. C and A controlled by the respective teams. 50 seconds remaining in the half, and the score is only 11 points of difference. Yeah, only 11 points of difference. But as you said, that C and B now in control. Of curse at the moment. Chilling getting shots out, trying to take the ankles out of Blue, but no, that's Blue going to be taking him out instead. Is they getting nice shots out before Bundo gets revenge for Blue. Two down, three down for Fright at the moment. 72 to 56 is your score on with 30 seconds left in the first half. C and B still in control of Curse. Nice shots out by Team Captain Issei there. C currently being contested, but it looks like it's going to be in control of Fright as they are all spawning over there. Bad luck to these guys. Not a great start, but look, it's been highly contested so far. 15 seconds left. 81 to 57 is your scoreline. Team of Fright pushing out all over the place. There's a couple of members over on uh, B pushing in there now, but they're going to be cleaned up pretty quickly. Damage and Dance both getting some nice kills there. In the final seconds, it looks like it's going to be 87 to 60 in the first half. Good way to start this series, Meister. It was, but I mean, you, you got to look at the, the overall score. 27 points isn't really that excessive of a score to, to really come back from in this second half. It can still be done, but they need to work initially, you know, maybe try to push on through pro, get that initial spawn flag, and then be able to just try and box him over in B. If they can, can secure them over in B and just watch those three exit points, then they'll be able to just catch back up in terms of those points really, really quickly and be able to hold it from there. That being said, I mean, you're coming against the, the curse players. They're really, really strong on this map, and this it's really showing. Why? Really strong curse players. Now it's going to seem ironic that Dens just got dropped because I was about to say 21 for 11 with four caps to his name. He is carrying curse. Such a strong player. We are with Chilling at the moment. Don't rule him out. He gets the shots on blue. Tries to get the two piece and he does some nice work before being dropped. Now CMB once again in control of curse in the early days of this first half. 92 to 63 is the score. Uh, Blue taking down Dens just then. And we're going to be seeing Chilean running out the back here towards his C. They're losing A and C. They did have a triple cap there for uh, just a moment. Now the A is neutralized at the moment along with C as well. There's going to be a player from Fright. That's going to be Quint. He is taking down relatively easy, but Chilean goes for the two-piece. Gets him as well. There's a third player. But no, the guy up high is going to be taking him out. Over with Issei now from Curse. Shots out, gets the tags, but he is dropped. Blue and Bundo getting shots respectively. Blue being able to pick up the two-piece. 103 to 67. Now two uh, flags are in control of uh, Curse at the moment still. So we do see Fright coming back though. Quincy able to get the flag for his team. So there's two spots for Fright for the first time in this series. And we see Curse trying to push on over to that seaside. They take down one play and they should start that capture going. Now what Fright going to do, they're going to be trying to push over the safe flag, but they don't know that two players from Curse are there waiting for them. It doesn't really phase them though. They just walk on in, take out the kills and we'll get this, C, uh, this A flag, sorry, the unpacked for them. But they've left that B flag open. Now you see one player now trying to rotate over, but he's going to have to contest with three players from Curse. he get tags on one. He needs to reload. Nate's going to be going in. He dodges one. He wants to shoot him from the left here and unfortunately just wasn't much he could do. Yeah, that was just unfortunate for Bundo. He had to play around with the team with the team running all over the place. And we're just checking out the minimap at the moment. A and C in control of Fright at the moment. B was contested. Only B in control of Curse at the moment. And 112 to 87 is the scoreline. They could just hold these two flags and still come back. Blue full red at the moment under a lot of pressure here in Kitchen. Is the player going to chase him? Yes, he is. That's going to be Issei getting the kill. Bundo and Damage getting kills for their team. So 115 93 two flags still in control of the of fright as I say, this A is being contested by Dens, and it looks like there's going to be no competition for him as he's going to control this, and now it's going to be A and B in control of Curse. But as I say that, there's a lot of action at B. Issa getting the nice two-piece damage, getting the kill as well, so that secured that B flag. A and B still in control of for Curse. As they're pushing over to this seaside as well, Quincy's the last one up for a moment. Bundo now spawning over on this pro side. His teammate's going to be spawning over in his C, and the Curse are going to be pushing that one aggressively. You got Chilean taking down one. Denzel take down another. Quincy just looking up over to the gang where that player has backed on out of there. One's going to be on the top stairs. He gets taken as well. And you notice the pressure that Curse is just putting on over over to that seaside. Now you notice Fright tried to do it earlier in B, but they got absolutely destroyed. It wasn't really the best positioning on their half. And, and Curse, I mean, they, they might have, you know, be, be losing that A flag, but that scoreline, you know, really says otherwise. It really does. And Curse, you know, they looked like they were letting it slip a little bit and getting letting Fright catch up to them. But look at this. Kill after kill after kill. Kill. Damage was just lining them up. Ducks in a row. We see Fright being consistently dropped there. C being uh, 
excuse me, contested at the moment, but damage, nice nade out, almost gets the shots out, but he was taken down there by Blue. Now we're with Issa from Team Curse. His score is 145 to 106, just under a minute 30 left. Blue being taken down by Dent in the background, having some very quick looks here on C flag. B's being contested at the moment. That might be in the hands of Fright sooner than you know it. So A and C were in control of Curse. Now it's A and C into each respective team, and it looks like B might be going the way of, uh, I believe it's going to be Curse again. So it is Curse now in control of A and B once again. We're going to be seeing the team of Fright spawning over at C. It's going to be switching things up, though, now as Curse are putting the herd on. Of course, with time running out, 50 seconds remaining in the game. 159 to 114 being the scoreline. 45 points of the difference, just not enough time to make anything happen. And Curse is going to take out that map number one. But there's still time remaining in the map. And these players are going to be playing just as if it was, you know, on a 0-0 basis, trying to get the advantage where they can. Of course, that C flag already being lost by the team of Curse. But no, they actually decided to hop off that one, losing the already the position that they were trying to go for. And you see Fright trying to go over to this B flag and fortunately to no avail. But that's going to be map number one, and as time just finishes up here, it's just getting more convincing it uh, is. As, as the seconds tick on down. Yeah, definitely within our last 10 seconds. But, you know, credit to Fright, especially Blue there, 26 for 24, you know. Not the best KD, but certainly a lot of kills. Look at this two-piece for Chilean. I thought he was about to make it three, but it wasn't meant to be. As I was saying, though, as we wrap up these final seconds, credit to Fright. They put up a good fight there. 178 to 118, you know, a 60-point gap. There's been, there's definitely been worse. Um, but look, Curse, it went all Curse's way. And look at Dens dropping the 37 for 19 with nine caps. That is ridiculous. It really is. And I mean, I so close to the 40 bomb right there. And unfortunately, just wasn't meant to be. That being said, that's only map number one here in the series. We still have another two guaranteed maps to be played with a potential two more after that if it goes down to the final moments. S&D up next though, but we already know how strong Curse are on the S&D variant. Curse, of course. They've always been strong in S&D. S&D and Sob, you know, I like to think that it could go either way. I always say that, but Fright, you know, Mm, I don't really think they're going to bring it there. And the slaying power of Curse as well, like their shots are just seem so much more accurate, so much more on. Yep. And I mean, like, uh, obviously Dens and Damage both going use, but Dens especially. But look, as we did say, S&D on Sovereign is going to be coming up next. This is Curse versus Fright. Don't go anywhere here on MLG.TV. We'll be right back.